details of what happened this morning. We're learning more tonight about Deputy Steven Sandberg and the man who killed him. Fox 9's Jack Heiberger live in St. Cloud with that part of our story tonight. Jack? Randy, the family of Steven Sandberg tells us he was born and raised in Aiken and spent a good part of his life helping others. And no matter what happened in this hospital, that part of it is never going to change. Now, Randy, as you know, law enforcement is a really tight-knit group. So when the sheriff of Aiken County came to the podium, he wasn't just talking about an employee or a deputy. He was talking about a friend. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, as you can imagine, it's been just a... Uh, a whirlwind, whirlwind of, a, of events of this very tragic situation. It's the last thing any sheriff ever wants to say. And for Aiken County Sheriff Scott Turner, the words came slow. His request, simple. I would hope that uh, everyone would keep Investigator Sandberg, um, his wife and daughter, and their thoughts and prayers in the coming days. And in the days to come, as we learn more about what happened inside this hospital, it's important to remember his name. Steven Sandberg, a sheriff's deputy, husband and father, spent a lifetime helping others. And on the morning of Sunday, October 18th, when the rest of us were at home sleeping, he was at the bedside of the man who would later take his life. 50-year-old Danny Hammond was no stranger to trouble. His criminal history stretching back to 1989 and includes convictions for burglary and terroristic threats. But what caused him to allegedly turn to murder, still a mystery. He was not being held. He was being um, treated for medical condition, and at the request of the hospital, he was being monitored by the Aiken County Sheriff's Office. The final selfless act of Steven Sandberg in a career dedicated to service. And the family of Steven Sandberg understandably asking for privacy as they go about making final arrangements. Governor Dayton today releasing a statement that read, This tragedy reminds us that Minnesota's law enforcement officers risk their lives every day and night to keep us safe. And Randy, as this investigation unfolds, we also look forward to learning a lot more about Deputy Sandberg and his contributions. Mm. We're live in St. Cloud. Jack Heiberger, Fox 9. Wow, all right. Thanks, Jack.